Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Wilder Path Farm. It's been a while and just like any morning, there is lots to do. Uh, it's actually pretty chaotic this week as spring typically is. Um, but today we are getting our meat birds for this year. We had debated last year if we were gonna do like two batches versus one batch. But with the wedding later on in the summer, we definitely decided to just do the one batch. Um, yeah, with how they look and everything, we're just going to do the one batch. But we are doing a larger batch this one time. We are going to be doing 80 meat birds. So I'm just getting the areas set up for them with their heat plate, water, and food. So we have this 100 gallon water trough. Um, some of them will be in here. I ended up getting a new heating plate just to compensate for the amount of meat birds that we're getting this year. Last year we only got 50, so that is a big jump and I don't want them to be without a heat plate. Um, that's when you can run into some issues. So I'm setting up the brooder, which is over in the corner as well, that we had our layer chicks in. Now they are moved to a crate inside the chicken coop, which I can show you guys later. But we just have to get everything pretty much set up, ready to go for as soon as those chicks come, because you wanna make sure that you get food, water, and heat to them as soon as possible. Alrighty, so they're all here. We have the two brooder spaces set up here. And also this one as well. So I'm gonna quickly dip their beaks in the water to show them where the water is and get them all in here because I don't want them in the boxes any longer. are here they're eating they're drinking um, for most of them this is their first um, drink and food of their life because they're pretty much hatched put in these boxes and then shipped as day olds so yeah they're super duper hungry <laughs> But they're all doing really well, so it's really good. Now, as they get bigger, um, I will be transferring them to a bigger brooder. Um, but for now, this is what will work in order to keep them safe and warm, fed and watered. Uh, they will have a bigger water because obviously that's not going to be enough um, for this many chicks per brooder. But for now, just to ensure that they constantly have fresh water and not contaminated water. Um, the smaller waters work. By like day three or four, I start to transition to them to the five gallon bucket with the nipples on it. Um, I find that works really well and they're old enough to actually comprehend that's where they get water from. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we have some chick starter here, some water with some apple cider vinegar and their heat plate. Hey Zeusy, Zeus, come here. Good boy. Zeus is a good boy. You all wet? It is a very rainy day outside today. So kind of fun to see all the babies. Like I said, temporary solution, at least for the first week of life. And then they'll eventually go out on grass, which I love to do and move them around on the, in the chicken tractors so they can improve my grass, they can eat grass, and they'll have a way better life than being stuck in a chicken coop.
The horses are up at the other end of the pasture munching on their round bale, but I figured we could go check on the babies. We got so many babies on the farm, so I guess I should be more specific. Little Coconut and Nessie are doing absolutely amazing. They are so rambunctious. Yeah. Hi, monkey. Hi, mama. And I never have clean pants because of this one jumping up on me, huh? Hey, sweetie. And you too, sir. Hi. Yes, hello. Oh, that's my shirt. Oh, my goodness. And Clover's ready to about to pop. Notice a lot of discharge on her. And her udder is filling up. She has technically one week from Friday. So she is due next Friday. But, um, yeah. Her belly's starting to drop, but not completely yet. She's been carrying the kids low pretty much her entire pregnancy, so... Um, she's just itching right now. Hi. Hi, yes. Hi, my sweetie. You're too friendly, my love. And coconut. So just to be frank with everyone, we don't keep uh, all the goat kids. My intention is to keep little Nessie here, for sure, as our next milker. And... <laughs> My goodness, they're just trying to climb up on my lap. My intention is to keep Nessie as our next milker. Coco will be for the freezer. He will be a freezer camp goat, but he will be castrated. And these little goat kids are just about ready. Um, we're going to be dehorning Nessie so that she doesn't have any horns. It's safer for everyone that way. Um, but. We're going to have someone come and help us with that uh, because, of course, it is our first time. So, whoa, okay. Rumbunctious girl. But this is way better, hey? Everyone super wants attention today and food. Oh, Lord. Hi, you bored inside? You bored inside? Okay. How you doing, Mama? We're milking Peach now because we're the kids are old enough to be the kids are old old enough to be separated at night. So hi, yes, hello. So we're just putting them in a lar extra large dog crate. There's more than enough room for them in there. Um, just as a temporary thing, and then they'll have their own, um, stall in here to separate them for when we need to milk Peach, because, um, Zeus and the new edition is going to be moved to the barn edition that's just outside. I'll show you guys, um, some clips from over the weekend where we were working on it. We got a little bit farther, um... Then some of the clips, like we got the walls, some of the walls put up. There just needs a little bit of work left, but then Zeus will be able to move out there and not be stuck in here. Um, and he'll also have his dog run that he'll have like 24 seven access to, which is nice. I can't do anything with you guys, huh? My goodness. He is very friendly. He wants to be in your lap. Just like his mama. He thinks he thinks we're friends. Hi buddy. We're not headbutting, nope. So we have the goat kidding kit still here for Miss Clover. Oh my goodness, Nessie. And I'm actually thinking that I prefer the goat kids in May. Now that may change, but for now, I think that's just 
that's just better for temperature wise because I don't have to worry about them getting too cold or anything. Hey little ones. He's a handsome dude, that's for sure. Are you handsome? It's a rainy day. Hi. So yeah, the addition's coming along really nicely. It looks, it looks really, really good. So I am super duper happy with it. And yeah, so that's gonna be super nice. As soon as it's finished, we're gonna have like double doors so you could open up the bottom and have the top closed for the winter for when it's super cold. But yeah, I'm so excited also for it to stop raining because I have to keep canceling lessons, unfortunately. Um, oh, hold on, Zeus. I gotta check the door. <coughs> With all the rain, um, we're not some fancy fancy uh, equestrian facility with an indoor arena. And it's not very fun riding in the rain for anyone. Horses. Or rider so one sec so with that um, yeah I would love it for it to stop raining and the horses be out of their pasture and somewhere else um, that's not mud so the plan is still to move them down to the valley for not only privacy but for them to have bigger space and to roam so that would be really great so i'm going to be putting like a lid on top of this one because the other brooder has a wire lid but uh oh yes oh my goodness we're all piled under there i'm gonna lift this up a little bit so this works really well for like the few days that they're on the heat plate. Now, last year I did two weeks on the heat plate for the meat birds and then transitioned them outside. Um, it will also depend on the weather. It's been way warmer than it was last year. So they may go out after like a week, 10 days. I think they, like I've seen people do it at a week and that's fine. But it will be like a we'll see kind of thing. Um, but yeah, they're all good. They're doing really good. Um, today we're just going to dry feed them. And then we'll slowly introduce the soaked feed um, to them as well as feeding them kitchen scraps just like we do all our other animals as well. It'll be a really good way to like fatten them up and it not cost us any more money. Come here. Good girl. Luna, come here. Good girl. Did you see the babies? Yeah. Are they your babies? If you guys are new, or if you don't already know, Nala is obsessed with anything baby. Baby goats, baby chicks, and she... Now oh, look. Don't you dare. And Nala loves the babies, right? Are all of them your babies? Are all of them your babies? Good girl. So it's the next day. Um, so we actually got um, some grain yesterday. So this is what the big pile of mess is like pretty much everywhere. But I'm gonna deal with that tomorrow. 
I made up some dinner for tonight for all of the goats to share. We're out of kitchen scraps, so they'll have to wait till Sunday to get more kitchen scraps, like um, lettuce, grapes, all that kind of stuff. But I did do the I did do the horses dinner. So beet fans, horses dinner soaking. Beet pulp is made for morning. So everything's pretty much ready. The only things I have to, left to do is put hay in the stalls and top up waters. And then I think I should be good for today. Try to get ahead so that it makes it a little bit easier later this evening when everything's like really busy. Because none's getting home, we have to eat dinner, we have evening chores, and I typically have at least two lessons per evening, so. We've been pretty busy with some work on that barn edition that we've been doing. Um, plus, I mean, spring. Uh, yeah, so chicks have all done really, really well their first night. We have no deaths. Everyone is alive, healthy, and well, which is really good. Because that was my only concern for buying a larger amount of chicks this year was that we could possibly lose some just because they're more dense in a box. They could get trampled, stuff could happen, but no, they're all doing really well. Um, filled up the food and water and they're doing super duper well. It is almost time for the first lesson of the day. So I'm just gonna wrap up this video here and I am so excited. We got three lessons today and then we also have to do some planting in the garden. So I'll take you along with that a little bit later this afternoon. And, but for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you aren't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, like and comment what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.